Hey, this is Lee. I want to do a quick video about self-harm. Are you hurting yourself? And most people are going to say, well, no, I don't hurt myself. But I need to, for you to know that when you hurt other people, you are hurting yourself. When you lie, you steal. You carry tales. You're backbiting. You're being dishonest about stuff. You're hurting yourself. So how do you know? Because when you do hurt other people, it's you yourself you're hurting. So this gets real sticky because not only are you hurting somebody, you're hurting Jesus and you're hurting yourself. So that's why I'm asking the question, why do you want to hurt yourself? Why do you want to do yourself harm? Why do you want to hurt Jesus? And why would you want to hurt the people that you say you love? It's not over. It's not too late for you to make the right decisions to do what's right in God's eyes. So let me ask you a question. Here's the Ten Commandments. Right? Look at them a minute. You're supposed to honor your father and mother. When you don't, you hurt yourself because he said your life will be short. Don't commit adultery because when you do, you hurt, you hurt everybody, God, and yourself, right? You can't lie because then you hurt yourself, them, and God. And you can't steal from people. This is so simple. When you steal from others, it will come back on you. And you're going to lose everything because you're going to stand in the judgment and God's going to judge you and you're going to go to hell. So why hurt yourself? Whether it's people that cut themselves or people that make themselves throw up or people that lie against somebody or tell stories or steal or anything that causes not only other people harm, but you harm and ultimately God harm. You can't go to heaven this way. He's not going to let you in and you're going to come short, but it's not over and you have time to change. Before you stand in the judgment of God, you have time to make adjustments, to ask for forgiveness. You know, there are people that even are holding grudges on people that are dead. I'm telling you, walking around with this heaviness in their heart, <clears throat> so-and-so cheated on me and, and I ain't never going to forgive them. And you realize that unforgiveness won't make it to heaven, right? Say, so think about it. There are people that got a problem with their grandparents, their parents, aunts and uncles, cousins. You're not going to make to heaven with all this bitterness. So they cheated on you 25 years ago. You got to get past this. Forgive them. Because if you don't forgive, he won't forgive you. This is what the Bible says, and it's real simple. Stop stealing. Stop doing the things you know you shouldn't. And make a change now. You can't self-righteous yourself into heaven while you're still doing sin. Stop hurting yourself and find your way to home, to heaven. I love you with all my heart. Remember what he said. You must be born again. Get you a Bible. Read it for yourself. Get on your knees by your couch, your chair, or wherever it is you sit. And ask God to forgive you of your sins and come in your heart. And turn that bitterness away and stop hurting people and stop hurting yourself. Read the Ten Commandments. They're right there. This is a cut down version. But read the Ten Commandments. Study them. Think about them. And change. Because if you don't, hell will be your home for eternity. Where the worm dieth not. Where there's wail weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth. People biting on you. Stop hurting yourself. Stop hurting others. Stop breaking the commandments and make a choice to be a Christian and serve God. Not because you're falling into some religious organization. I know you're bitter about that too. Stop being bitter about religious organizations that hurt your feelings. <sighs> it's not about them. It's about your eternity. Get Let go of the bitterness because your bitterness is choking everybody around you out. Your greed is choking everybody out. All the sins that you're doing is choking everybody out. And that's why they don't want anything to do with you. I love you with all my heart. I'm giving you a message of love from my heart to yours, to my spirit, to yours. May the Lord Jesus bless you and teach you this lesson so that he can take you home. Don't be a tear among the weeds.
don't do it and let God take you home to heaven. I love you with all my heart. Like and subscribe. I'll be back soon. In Jesus' name, this is for you. Change it while you have time. Bye. Thank you.